Coming up on this Heads Up, the Stop the Steal rally at the Hawaii State Capitol building that happened November 28, 2020. Aloha, this is Larry Reed. Heads up. This is Thanksgiving season. You know, we shouldn't just have a season of Thanksgiving. We should actually have everyday Thanksgiving. <laughs> Because uh, the Lord tells us that we should give thanks in all things. Well, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You ever wonder what the will of the Lord is for your life? You can look at it right there in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Right there specifically says, this is the will of God concerning you. It actually says more than giving thanks. It actually starts up further above. It says that we should rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So I'd encourage you to cultivate that as a life of thanksgiving. Because uh, thanksgiving will take the place of a lot of things if you let it. You can give thanks rather than complain. You can give thanks, and that's something that will actually usher you into the presence of God. The Bible says in Psalms 100 and verse 4, it says that we... Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So if you kind of get overwhelmed at time or you're going through something and you're thinking, wow, how's this whole thing going to turn out? Well, you can always just enter into thanksgiving to God because that will do a lot. It will begin to take your mind off. And yet, you know, the Lord, he loves that. He loves that. We, we want to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Because praise is a place where the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. <laughs> so when you are praising God, actually, I believe the anointing and the presence of God comes down. And, you know, it can just take care of your problems because it brings the anointing. Lord, we just thank you for that right now. We pray for this election that God, that we believe that Trump won and that you will bring it to pass, Lord, as you've told us prophetically. And we claim it now. We decree and declare in Jesus' name that Trump is going to be president in 2021 to 2024. And so we thank you now, Lord, because you have great plans for this, for this country. And Lord, we bind the enemy. We ask you to expose every wicked thing that happened in 2020. Lord, that they could also turn around many of the House seats. I believe there was corruption and voter fraud on many levels, even in the House and the Senate. So Lord, I pray you'll make it right. There's people you called to office, and yet the devil's trying to steal that. So they won't be able to Fulfill the call that you gave them, oh Lord, and yet you want to do much more. We don't need any more hindrances in the House of Representatives or in the Senate. So Lord, we just lift all this up before you now, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Heading down to the state capitol for a Stop the Steal rally. Four more years. Yes. Four more years. I say give him 12. I stand on the Constitution. Stop mucking about and fix this election. Throw it out or recount it right and stop the fraud and get this country back on track now before we lose it forever. And this isn't about Democrats or Republicans and left and right or up and down. This is about good over evil. So. Count your blessings that we live in a beautiful country where you can worship freely. Support the president. All right. Love you. Stop the steal. God bless America. God bless the USA. Thank you. Thank you. Four more years. <laughs>
Trump in the steel. Trump won. The devil comes to steal, to kill, and destroy, and we're not going to let him do it. Trump won. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep fighting, saints. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Okay? Not physically. Fight through prayer, spiritual warfare. Claim the dominion. We claim Trump won. They're not going to steal this. In Jesus' name. Amen. What I was mentioning is that when the people got to the promised land, God said, go over. But you have to do, you have to get the land from here. They were to take and do that, you know, make it theirs. And they, only two and a half tribes did that out of the whole 12 of them. Yeah. So that just spoke to me when I was reading that earlier this summer. It's like, this has to come from the grassroots. We have a job to do and we can't let that go. We have to do our job now. Otherwise yeah. we would roll over and go back to sleep. Yes, because that's what where I've been. You know, the Bible says to watch. Yeah. And, and be alert. I wasn't. So I had, I've been asking forgiveness for that because I, I wasn't paying attention. Right. And that was the piece that I was missing was, was being alert. That's right. And because we are, we're to not, we don't know the hour, but we're to be alert enough to start seeing when this hour could be coming. And right. that's, that's my awakening, you know, my, right. you know, forgive me, Lord. And, but this is what I need to do now. That's I can't right. just pretend, you know, I can't, not if I'm called and we're all called, if we're believers, we're called to do something. So that's exactly right. Am. Exactly right. lot of more than six cars you cannot you cannot win and they always said Ohio and Florida is the two main states you have to win to win the presidency he never touched it he lost both states sure so what does that say hello people do the math it's like this is the an atrocity to our democracy it's no longer Republic but rather a re uh, banana Republic of a of a, a type of force that's not even American anymore. It's more like evil. I mean, when we can let our, our democracy be undermined like that, and for who knows how long, it's unbelievable that people don't see through all the smoke screens and not this pointless activism in our schools. The, the history of America is so key to the survival of our country that we understand there's mistakes made, but also the, the uh, the growth and the potential our nation has is still here today. If we don't let this happen, what's happening now, it can't, it can't happen. It's I believe gonna... Trump's going to win. I oh, hell yes. In, in the end. Well, this is God's it. This intervene. is the, the God run. Yeah, the run is right now. And we're going to fight every inch of it. He's not giving up an inch of battle. He's a New Yorker. People don't get it. You don't bet against a New Yorker. You just don't. Yes, in truth, yes. in justice, yes. in righteousness, in love, yes. loving those who persecute us, blessing those who persecute us, yes. blessing those who are spreading lies across the nation. But we know that truth will prevail. Yes. We know that righteousness will prevail yes. because you are King, Lord. Yes. You are God. Yes. You are Master. Yes. You are Savior. Yes. And we will continue to stand in the power of the Holy Spirit yes. because you have shed your blood for us. Yes. And now we're washed in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Yes. And no weapon that's formed against your people shall prosper. Yes. We shall serpent. Yes. We shall trample on serpents yes. and scorpions. Yes. And nothing shall harm us by any means yes. because we are covered in the blood of Jesus. Yes. We are cleansed and we are renewed. Yes. And we will not be quiet. Yes. We will not shut up. We will continue to stand for justice. No communism on our watch. You can see us here. You can see us on the, uh, uh, in America. You can see us everywhere. No communism. And we don't have fear. Why? Because we have our God.
say, Trump on there? Jesus is Lord over Hawaii, over the United States. Jesus is Lord, Lord. I pray for all the people that work in this office, state capitol. God, raise up the righteous people and take down the ones that aren't going to cooperate with you and your statue. In Jesus' name, amen. That's right. Say, Lord, Lord, I come to you through your son, Jesus. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. I confess, Lord, I have sinned, Lord. Forgive me. I open the door of my heart. Jesus, come into my life. and Be my Lord and Savior. I receive you this day as my Lord and my Savior. Write my name. In the Lamb's Book of Life. So Lord, I can go and be with you in this next life. So Lord, I accept you today. And I say out loud, Jesus is my Lord. Amen. For Trump, right? Yeah, go to, go to Hawaii for Trump. Yeah. And uh, so you can see the upcoming events, yeah? Okay. Like right now we have an event on December 5th. Uh, we have another one on December 14th. And there's another one before that. I'm trying to find the scheduling here. Uh, we are going to be walking from the from here, from the state capital, to by the core and the Aloha Tower. But go to Facebook to find the details. Okay. okay. I don't have all the details right now. Thank you. Okay.